So what all happened in real estate in Atlanta in 2021? You're gonna to wanna to watch this video to find out. So 2021 was an interesting year in real estate. Ooh, what a year it has been, <laughs> oh my goodness. So why don't we look at the numbers? We're gonna look at what changed the most this year in the numbers and what changed the least. And we're judging it against uh, 2020 versus 2021, right? Yes. All right, let's do it. So this year, the number of new listings that have hit the market mm -hmm. has been almost the same over yep. the last 12 months as it was the previous year. Only a 1.2% change from yes. 2020. Yeah, so it's almost insignificant. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really just getting about the same number of houses listed. Yep, same number of homes came up for sale. The pending sales, same. It's almost Almost the same. dead even, Point, negative 0.2%, so barely off. So the pending sales are all of the homes that were under contract this time last year versus the ones that are under contract right now. So the next thing is gonna be some of what has been the big difference though. So what do we got? Oh yeah, so one of the big differences is going to be, we all know that houses are selling so fast. Yep. So, so it's gonna be the days on the market. And the days on market is half the time. In 2020, houses were on the market for 39 days. And what is it in 2021? It's 19 days. 19 days now. Is homes are selling within 19 days. So what we're finding is that homes that are on the market longer than seven to 10 days, people are starting to think, is there something wrong with that house? Yeah, if a house stays on the market longer than seven to 10 days, it's probably either price or condition or location. Yes, and then we're also seeing by that 19 day mark, if the house hasn't sold, a lot of people are doing those price reductions a lot quicker. Yep. So let's talk about sales and how many closed sales and what the difference has been. Yep. Um, Somehow we've managed to close 2% more in inventory sales this year than we did this time last year. So even with less inventory, what that means is when homes are on the market and maybe they would not have sold in a, in a more competitive market, they might have condition issues or repairs like you were saying, mm -hmm. but buyers are willing to buy them because of the market conditions. Correct, correct. We've we've listed some houses that maybe weren't ready to be listed, but it didn't really matter. People gobbled them up anyway. Yes. So you're always going to get more for your home if it's in top condition, yeah. even in this market. So we don't recommend putting your house on the market if just it's not ready. in any condition. Um, but we are seeing that that sales increase is probably due to more buyers being willing to take on uh, condition issues. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so the other big, huge number that is increased uh, year over year was the average, average sales, sales price. price. So what you have a guess? Uh, before Without we ran looking. this, um, yeah, I thought it was up about 50,000, but it's even more than that, isn't it? So it's 21% and it's about $75,000. Yes, on the averages. So a home a year ago is now worth 75,000 more on average than this year than it was the last year. Yes, so that is just mind boggling. Mind blowing. We've known several people who have bought new construction or they even just went under contract on new construction um, this time last year. By the time they closed on that, it was they had already gained equity. Yep, their house was already worth more the day they moved in. Okay. Now last we, thing. We've been telling everybody, when you're a buyer, it's competitive, you need to be ready to make offers that might be above the list price. In 2020, people were getting under contract for 98% of list price, and now what in 2021 is it? So, and what that means, 98%, let They me offered, yeah. They were getting a 2% discount off the price. So they yeah. were negoti negotiating about 2% off the price. And that's on average. So some people were paying above list, some people were paying below list price. What do we got in so 2021? right now, people are paying um, about 2.6% more than they were last year. And that's about 1.3% above list price. A 101.3%. That means on average, people are having to offer above list price in order to get the house under contract. So that was a look back at what happened this year in the Atlanta real estate market update. Make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna keep bringing these to you every month throughout 2022.